Alright, this is a Monograms Snap Tight 55 Chevy Bel Air. And uh, man, this is a gorgeous kit. This uh, kit came out in 79. I did not get it in 79. I got it sometime in the 80s. But I definitely had and built this kit as a kid. And it's just, just a gorgeous car. I love uh, 55 Chevy. 50, 55 through 57 Chevys are some of the most classic cars of that era and it's just beautiful uh, my dad did have a 55 Chevy Bel Air it was this exact color blue and in fact he did have Kregers on it he didn't have the side pipes he didn't have the blower but he had Kregers on this nice uh, I don't even know what you call it duck egg powder blue I'm sure Chevy has got a name for it but yeah it was exactly this color but I think his was a I think his was a sedan, not a coupe. Uh, I think his 56 was a was also a sedan. He had a beautiful 56 Chevy. Right, the 56 didn't change the body style. The only thing they really changed were the turn signals. The indicators were half moons on the 55. There were circles on the 56. And they were completely different on the 57. But yeah, this is gonna be a, this is gonna be fun to paint. Look at all that trim. Look at all that trim. Even has a little Bel Air right there next to the trim, and uh, the rear window too. The whole rear window has got trim around it. The tail lights have trim around the uh, the uh, the red and the well, the whites, the backup lights. And no rear indicators. The headlights were the indicators. They'd flash when you'd uh, go to turn. So yeah, this is a really cool kit. We're gonna open it up here in a second. Take a look. All right, and I got everything out of the uh, out of the plastic bag over there, so we can take a look at it. You got the uh, very low detail interior. You got a seat there. You got pedals. You don't even have any real door detail in there. Not much going on. Has a little bit of a texture to the floor, but that's about it. And the uh, blower attached there, so that's a thing. Uh, let's see. Unfortunately, there is no year. This might be a 79. Because there's just the copyright. No year. So this might be a 79. But you've got a pretty detailed uh, undercarriage here. See those pipes coming out? The engine right there. There is no... Uh, and I do remember this. I remember them being hollow. And there's no, no real uh, muffler for them. You just see the raw pipe. So this thing probably sounded pretty nasty. You got your gas, you got your uh, gas tank, you got your spare. Or the spare slot, it would be in the trunk. But yeah, it doesn't look too bad. You see all this rivet detail on there, it's pretty cool. You got your nicely detailed grill, you got your rims, you got your uh, shifter. You got a uh, your roll bar here. Your uh, Let's see here, your seats, your two bucket seats tail lights, uh, the blower, two halves of the blower, a very nice, uh, nicely detailed, uh, at least I think it's a pretty nicely detailed, I can't really get all the detail in here, focus, you can see, actually see the speedometer and the radio and the uh, glove box, and in fact it even says Bel Air there, so it's kind of hard to see, but yeah, I thought that was pretty cool, I didn't expect it to say Bel Air there, and the body, looks really cool it's got some flash it's got a few uh, few little issues here and there but it's exactly what I remember I remember these tabs I remember putting the frame into these tabs just but it, uh, man that's that's a really cool body it's got the little trough even in the uh, in there and it very clearly says Bel Air right there so this is ish painting this painting the trim at least it's just a gorgeous car they don't make cars as beautiful as this anymore so yeah um the paint guide in here is different than what the box looks like i'm just gonna go with the box and do a black interior except for the uh except for the dashboard which 
should be two toned. It should be it should have silver. That whole center section it actually has a little bit of texture on that center section too, which is really cool. But that center section it's kind of hard to see. Let's see if I can see it in this light a little more. There you kind of go in between these two bevels, the one down here and the one up here. That's all silver. All the dials are silver. The Bel Air is silver. So I'm going to paint this a nice deep blue. And then I'll do the rest of the interior in a black. Black and a little, that dark blue. I think I'll do the, uh, the roll cage in dark blue and then do the uh, foam in black. And uh, the seats I'll probably do in dark blue as well. But just uh, do the bucket and the rear seat in black. And of course the uh, uh, excuse me the uh, the the blower here will be in aluminum, and so will the rims, and of course your your two uh, bumpers. Uh, the steering will probably stay black. Doesn't have a Chevy emblem on it. I don't know if it should. I think maybe it should have a bow tie. I don't remember. But yeah, so I'm gonna start cleaning and start painting. Be back when I'm uh, done with that. So this is one day worth of painting. I got the bumpers done here. I got the tail lights done. Grill still has to be uh, completed. I'm just going to outline it in silver. Nothing done on the body. The rims are done. I just am sitting here in the tires to look at them. The uh, dashboard has uh, to be painted. I have to paint in all those fine details. Uh, I've got to paint the center there. I'm going to just paint that silver. Uh, the frame I started on, I started on the transmission there. I got the base coat down. The transmission started. All the little nubs here are on the four uh, corners are silver and I've got to wait for this to cure and then I'm going to tape it up and paint the pipes, the side pipes, a completely different color. Well, not completely different. Just similar to what it is on the box with this uh, that just kind of dark metallic. Uh, let's see, the, the uh, interior bucket is complete so I got all that in aluminum I've got uh, the bucket seats in there. I got the roll bar in there. And it's flat black, and then I just glossed over the uh, the foam protective parts there. Uh, I've got the uh, shifter in there. And it gets silver, and it's got a kind of wood grain handle. And then, of course, the blower there. So that's where I'm at right now. I'll catch you guys back uh, in a little bit when I've probably done painting so I'll see you then well here it is assembled I just put the body on the frame and I, I did uh, did paint those pipes what else did I do I painted all the trim I got the uh, tail lights painted in the red and white I got the uh, what else I got the rest of the interior done yeah, it's hard to see in there but I got all the dashboard done you can see from the other side. Kind of hard to see in there, but eh, you kind of see it. Yeah, I got all this, all this trim. And the grill, got the lights around the, uh, the bevels around the uh, headlights, the bevels around the, uh, the uh, indicator lights here, and then everything around the cab here is lined in chrome. And uh, so, so is the side here. Got this nice chrome stripe here. Got another one right here. Got the uh, that nice little Bel Air. And I got all that with this nice Sharpie. Uh, I've seen Chris over at HPI Guys Workshop use something similar to this. Not quite this, but. He said Sharpie makes one, so I went and I picked one up at Walmart, and it did a great job on all this. Though um, 
you have to be very direct and specific with your lines. You can't you can't dab. You have to draw a straight line across. There's a few places that it look kind of wonky. Then I'm gonna have to go over again. But as long as you make nice, straight, direct, smooth lines, it turns out really well, as it did here on the uh, side. I did forget to pick up a white one. Uh, forgot all about the tires. The uh, the Goodyear branding. I want those. I want the Goodyear branding on those. So I did a little bit on the bottom. I didn't do much. But now I have uh, to wait for that to dry. I have to clean up the body because there's fingerprints all over it. And once I do that, I will be ready for the decals. The 30 some odd 79. Almost 39 year old decals. We'll see uh, how well these work. If they don't work, I'm just going to take them off. But well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I didn't have a luck, any luck on the ones that I put on my um, Corvette, but they went around complex curves. These are going on pretty flat surfaces. The hood's a little curved. The body is just slightly curved. So we'll see how well these work or don't work, and I'll be back with the final reveal. See you guys then. So here it is, uh, done. Nice little two-day build on a snap tight car. I got all the decals on. I got all the uh, the tires with their Goodyear markings done, and nice little sharpie with a very fine point. This thing works awesome for doing stuff like that. Some other details. I actually did the headlight, or not the headlights, but the uh, the marker lights. I did those with that. Yeah, as you can see. Nice and done. All the decals on. They went on okay. They are 30, no, they're 40, 39 year old decals. So, yeah, I gotta expect a little bit of trouble getting them on there. So, yeah, I think it turned out really well. Uh, pretty much looks exactly like I wanted. Pretty much spot onto the box. So, the other thing is, I think I called these rims Craggers. They are not. They are American Racing rims. My bad. I don't know why I was thinking Kreger. I think my dad's got a pair of Kreggers in his garage, and I, they were in my head when I was talking about the uh, about those rims. So that's where that came from. I, I have no clue why. But, so, that's, uh, that's going to be it for this build. I will catch you guys on the next one. Take care.